Hello Saberland. Vader's Vault here showcasing our latest Saber out of the vault. This is Modi, uh, meant to be the brother of Magni. Uh, one of our customers in our build blog uh, actually saw that Saber back in November and made some changes to his design uh, based on looking at that Saber. Um, a while back we had a few of these uh, Star Killer 2 trailer concept saber emitters uh, CNC'd for us for some prototypes that we're working on and also for a couple of customer builds we had in the build log that required that emitter uh, for some variants on the design. Uh, this saber was one of them and after seeing Modi he wanted uh, the basically uh, Magni and, and he wanted Magni with that emitter so uh, I went and uh, altered his design to make it fit. I uh, had to shorten the middle section here uh, so to change the configuration of how the switches and the recharge port worked. Um, uh, the recharge port is now a 1.3 millimeter recharge and is in the actual control box of the emitter uh, as seen by our Imperial Cog Vader's Vault kill key there on the 1.3 millimeter recharge and uh, the switches, so that I had little little space to work with there. Uh, I wanted to go with a different setup. Uh, the customer had requested lighted switches, uh, so I actually combined the brass with polycarbonate uh, to backlight them with the lighted tactile switches I have underneath. Uh, the main switch is a polycarbonate uh, bezel with the brass plunger coming through. So the bezel actually lights up with the switch underneath. And the auxiliary switch is a, just a brass plunger with a polycarbonate insert uh, actually uh, epoxied into the brass. Very tight, very clean look. And so the middle lights up with the aux switch. The accent LEDs um, are a blue and white blinking accent LEDs. Uh, they're connected to one of the pads on the Petit Crouton. Uh, there's kind of meant to match the blade color which is a silver uh, made by the lead engine 10 watt RGBW with the blue and white connected uh, to make the silver blade color with the red and green for uh, the true flash on clash. The rear of the Sabre is very similar to Magni. Uh, did a similar pommel, not exact but similar. Uh, we got the leather wrap. Uh, it also unscrews here for access to the uh, Petit Crouton, which I can show you guys right now. And there's the Petit Crouton there. Uh, it's held down by some Velcro on the bottom, so you can just lift it up, pop the SD card out, make any changes you want to it, and put it back. Uh, right now I have on it a, for testing, I have one of Nightstorm's new sound fonts uh, based on his Star Wars The Old Republic series of sound fonts that will be available for sale on saberfont.com very shortly. Uh, we'll be launching with sound fonts from all your favorite font makers, Nova Star, Mad Cow, Nightstorm, and others. And you could be able to find that and several others based on the uh, Old Republic series on Saberfont. Look for it there. Support your sound font makers because they support you. Alright, let's get it powered up. This is Modi and this is a Sith sound font, I believe. But Strong am I with a force. With a customer requested Yoda boot. So, as you can see, the uh, Main switch is a steady lighted um, when you pull the kill key and the aux switch is a blinky indicator and they are both backlit with green. Get the light off here. Very cool ignition. Uh, very similar to the very popular ROTJ ignition. Um, just a little different sound, but very powerful nonetheless. And we got the beautiful silver blade. 
is done by the uh, lead engine 10 watt blue and white and of course coming spilling out of those uh, emitter vents very dramatic effects there very cool they actually let in let out a lot more light than I originally thought they would the blade uh, the customer had requested to show a clear blade and a trans white blade to know what color would work best uh, with the silver and I gotta say that I gotta go with the clear blade on the silver color just because the trans white brings out more of the blue and dissipates the white so you get sort of a dull blue color rather than the silvery color so I'm gonna have to say that we should stick with the uh, the, tran the clear blades and the Fock or Flash on Clash which is the red and green and it's mostly a whitish color hopefully it shows up while I'm playing it a lot of times the uh, flash doesn't show up as well It's a lock up. It's a very cool saber, very comfortable to wield, especially on a two handed grip. The rear hand at the leather and the top hand anywhere up here in the emitter area. Very, very, very comfortable. Not too large, it's a little bit longer than a lot of the sabers we build, but again, the emitter accounts for a good portion of that. But uh, very well balanced. Hopefully the customer likes it. I had fun building it. Good challenge, especially on the inside. Thanks again for Invader's Vault. Modi.